so in this tutorial we are going to learn about nmap i'll teach you all the essential nmap commands and how to analyze the scan results as well nmap is a leading open source tool for network scanning nmap is an information gathering tool nmap scans individual devices and networks to collect the information like open or closed ports the operating system that device is running on all the running services and their versions etc it also scans for the connected devices on a network all right overall nmap evaluates the network risks or vulnerabilities nmap is an essential tool for network administrators and cybersecurity specialists so this is going to be a very productive tutorial one drawback of nmap is that it is not stealthy means it can be easily detected by intrusion detection systems so here you have to be really careful you can only scan the devices or websites that you are allowed to all right so open your terminal write nmap hyphen h press enter hyphen h option basically displays all the possible options or parameters you can use with nmap as you can see there are plenty of them you can go through all these options so it's always good to start off with the help menu so let me clear my terminal now write nmap the simplest possible method to use nmap is write nmap then specify either ip address or the url just like that now by default if you do not supply any parameters nmap is going to scan the most common or popular thousand ports so hit enter it is going to take a bit of time because nmap not only has to scan the ports it also checks whether ports are open closed or filtered so this automatically takes time now as you can see our scan is complete so first a nice thing that nmap does it prints the ip address as you can see now i'm going to copy this now instead of using a url i can simply write the ip address so down here we have three columns port column displays the port numbers as you can see state column displays the state of port as you can see we have open and filtered basically there are three possible states open filtered and closed if it is open then it means it is ready to listen or accept the connections if it says filtered then it means it is protected by some firewall and if it says closed then it is possibly closed by the system administrator and in service column it displays the service that port is offering as you can see on 21 we have ftp ssh and so on now write nmap you can speed up your scanning process write hyphen uppercase f option and the ip address or url press enter now what hyphen f option is going to do it will scan the most common or popular 100 ports so it basically increases your scanning speed by 10 times as you can see we have the results here you can also scan the specific ports for example uh, let's say you only want to scan port number 23 write hyphen p option and port number that you want to scan then url or ip address press enter and now it is only going to scan the port number 23 as you can see you can also specify the multiple ports write nmap hyphen p let's say port number 23 21 443 separate uh, the port numbers with comma now write the ip address all right now as you can see it only scanned these four port numbers three port numbers nmap allows you to specify ranges as well so write nmap hyphen p again and let's say you want to scan from port number 1 to 15 then write ip address hit enter all right as you can see we have the result it scanned port numbers from the specified range 1 to 15 you can also specify multiple ranges just separate them uh, with the comma let's go for 22 from 22 to 23 press enter now it will start uh, from 1 to 15 then after finishing then it will scan uh, this range all right we can also scan ports by name for example write nmap hyphen p let's say you want to scan for mysql right port name you can either scan a single or multiple separate by comma so let's go for https and ftp you can specify as many as you want now press enter and now as you can see it only scanned the specified ports here now if you want to gather more information out of the target apart from 
reports then write nmap hyphen a hyphen a stands for aggressive so when nmap scans aggressively then it tries to find out the operating system that server is running on services and versions of services as well so it tries to gather as much information as possible so press enter when nmap scans aggressively it basically takes more time because it has to dig for additional information so it takes time be patient here so as you can see our detailed scan is complete so let me scroll to the top as you can see with aggressive scan we have an additional column here called version version basically displays the version of the service as you can see this is the current version of ftp what you can do you can what you can do you can search for available vulnerabilities for the versions that you uh, find here all right so down here we have public ssh keys here then if you scroll down as you can see down here we have very valuable information this is the web server that the server is using to host the web pages as you can see i'm not sure whether i can pronounce it correctly all right let me scroll down as you can see service info this is using a linux operating system as you can see the linux kernel here now what we are going to do we will save the scan result into the file so write nmap hyphen f and in order to save you have to supply hyphen o uppercase n option now specify the path home then write username in case you are absolute beginner this portion displays the username then write username and i'm going to save in my desktop then write the file name scans.txt now paste the ip address now press enter now as you can see our scan is complete and on our desktop file has been created let me open now as you can see guys we have the exact result saved inside our file as well another useful thing that you can do with nmap you can basically scan all the devices who are connected to your network all right so write nmap this command is going to scan your entire subnet this is basically called cider notation just understand if it finds any devices connected to your network then nmap is going to display those ip addresses here all right i am using kali linux on virtual box so i do not have any other virtual machines running so it will not show anything so i am going to quit the scan because it is going to take a bit longer to complete the scan